welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're actually doing a story time video. As you can tell, I'm clearly a beauty channel, but I'm always going to throw some stories in there because sometimes I want to tell you guys the weird things that have happened in my life, so why not? If this is the first time you're seeing me, hello, my name is Pedro and welcome to my channel. And the first thing that you should be doing right now is pausing the video, subscribing, maybe even liking, leave a comment, and then we'll keep on going. You feel the you feel. I actually have a giveaway going on on my channel right now, and that's in the description box below. All you have to do to be entered is subscribe to my channel, so if you're a subscriber, you're in the winning. There's a bunch of other bonus entries, and if you want to find out what is in my giveaway and what you could possibly be winning, that's in the description box below, so go check that out. I just said there's a box below because description, too, much, too long of a word, like, chillax, okay? Damn. Okay, so now let's just get on with the video because I don't want this to get too long, but girl, let me tell you. Okay, so the first thing that must be going on in your head right now is like, Pedro, why the hell is your gay ass in hospital? Why are you even working in the hospital? How the hell did you even get in the hospital? Okay, so when I was in high school, which was like two years ago, girl, I actually wanted to be a plastic surgeon until I then found out I wanted plastic surgery and I didn't actually want to do it. I wanted to get it. So when I was in high school, I was in HSA, which is Health Studies Academy, Health Students Academy, something like that. I clearly didn't pay attention. And then there was all these other ones, which was like something with business and the other one that other people were in when they literally didn't know what to do with their lives. And if you were in HSA, you had to take classes that have to deal with like the medical field and stuff like that. So I had to take like medical physiology and all of that other stuff. But anywho, since freshman year to senior year, I was in HSA because the whole time I really wanted to do something in the medical field and blah, 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 blah. Makeup didn't strike me as much as it should have because everybody would be like, you're not going to make money in makeup. What are you going to do in makeup? Blah, 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 blah. You already know the deal, yo. If you're in the makeup industry and you want to be a part of the makeup industry girl get prepared to have people try to squash your dreams because no 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 not my baby girl not my baby girl so in the first three years that I was in HSA I actually loved my HSA teacher her name was Miss Burke she was amazing she didn't die or anything I'm making it sound like she killed herself but she did not die or anything something was going on with her parents so she had to leave so she didn't teach anymore and I was waiting for senior year to be with Miss Burke because Miss Burke was literally my life her ass was pretty her face was gorgeous everything about her was just amazing she was like the best teacher ever and knock 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 here comes a new teacher in town the devil herself and I'm not going to be mentioning her name at all because, as you guys can tell, I don't have that much subscribers as it is. Which means someone that is still at that high school probably is watching me. Hello, if you're a hater, hi. If you're a lover, hi. And they'd be the type of person to be like, oh my god, Mrs. Blank. Um, Pedro posted a video about you. And she's the type of person that would go watch the video and then try to contact me and then try to get her lawyers and then something. Like, she's that bitch. Yes, I know. So senior year comes around and every senior, if you're good, I guess, you have to take an internship or whatever. So since I'm an HSA, my internship was clearly in something medical, so in the hospital. And... I was so excited to have Miss Burke do it because Miss Burke was going to be the teacher that would be like, what do you want to do, Pedro? Do you want to be in the emergency room? Here, go. I'll put you in the emergency room. She was that type of person that really worked with her students, except this new teacher, um, she wasn't really like that. So, unfortunately, we actually had, like, this thing with her, and she's like, oh, I want to see where you guys want to go. Like, what part of the hospital do you guys want to go? So, me and my friend Chelsea and all these other people were all, like, writing where we want to go. So, the things I wanted to do was either... Pediatrics, so I wanted to be in the pediatric department, um, emergency department, or I think the other one was, I don't remember the other one, but it was definitely not the one that I put into. So there's this other girl that was there, and her name is Shayla. Hello, girl, Shayla, if you're watching. How you doing, baby girl? So in HSA, we actually had like a little click going on, and it was like me, Chelsea, Shayla, and a bunch of other kids. So Shayla was one of my homegirls, so I was like, okay, like... I'm excited because I'm getting paired with you, but where we're getting paired. Then we found out we were getting paired into oncology. Oncology is for the cancer patients in the oncology unit, and I did not want to do that. Like, she clearly asked us all what we wanted to do and didn't put me there. There was this other kid that was in our class that didn't even want to be in the medical field, but he had to take that class because I guess it was too late to switch off. And he didn't want to be there. He hated the class. And she put him in the emergency room instead of putting me, who was always up her ass and trying to be a kiss ass to get to the unit that I wanted to. But oh wait, she clearly still didn't do that. 
It's so funny because when me and Chelsea first seen her as a teacher, I'm like, okay, Chelsea, it's a new teacher. She might be good because I'm always someone that's going to be like, oh, no, we're going to love her. She's going to be great. Chelsea, but Chelsea is not like that. My girl Chelsea would be like, girl, she trashed from the beginning. And my dumb ass clearly didn't believe Chelsea. And I'm like, no, we can give her a chance. Let's just give her a chance. She could be amazing. But wrong. We sat there and her name, I don't want to say her name like I said, but um, her first letter, her name is L, so... If you watch a girl, I don't like you. Never did like you. But anyways, when she was first there, Chelsea was like, oh my god, like, fine. Let's see how we can do with this teacher. And we had this little piece of paper. And I was like, hi, miss. Um, I had purple hair at the time. Like, what? Hi, miss. Can we call you? And then I kind of, like, cut her name off. Like, her whole name was kind of, like, too hard to pronounce when we first met her. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to try to call her, like, half the name. So I'm like, can we call you blank? And she's like, no. So I'm like, okay, and Chelsea's like, strike one, literally writing strikes on the piece of paper the first day we met her. And then Chelsea's like, what about, like, if we call her L? Like, can we call you L? And she's like, no. And then I was like, how about, and then I, like, did one more, and she's like, no. So Chelsea was like, strike, strike, aka, three strikes, girl, you out. We didn't like you from the get. But me, I'm like, no, we still need to like her. She's going to be amazing. Like, let's just give her the benefit of the doubt because, like, Miss Burke is gone, but we have to use this woman. Well, let me tell you guys this now that um, Chelsea was right the whole entire time and this bitch actually tried to not even get me to graduate high school. So, hello. And let's just say right now that I don't even care. I hated high school. I liked a few teachers from high school. I loved Miss Cody. I loved Miss Giannakis. I loved all of my main teachers, except... Everybody else was probably like, eh. and this teacher, eh, no, absolutely repulsing. Like, going to her class was like, I would rather put a bullet into my dome. Like, no, 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 no. I was kind of like, I didn't really want to go in this. Like, I, that's not part of the list and what I wanted to be in. So, I didn't really understand why she told us to make a list of the places we would want to be in the hospital if she wasn't going to grant it. But anyways, so she's like, okay, but like here, this is where you're going. And I'm like, I don't really want to go there, but I guess. And then she's like... Well, I just think this is the best for you because you can learn a lot, blah, 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 blah. And me being the nice, amazing, cute little gay boy that I am in high school is like, whatever. Like, you're right. I will learn. But I feel like to her, me saying that I'm agreeing with her and I just kind of accepted what she was giving me, it kind of became like a, like she was expecting me to be mad about it and start a fit with her. But that's not how it was because my mama raised me right and I wasn't going to fight with an old lady. She wasn't even that old, but girl, you old. Okay, so it's the first day of internship and me and Shayla are in the same unit. So we go together and we all had our own little lab coats you could only wear like black jeans or really dark wash jeans you couldn't wear light jeans you couldn't wear this you couldn't wear that you have to act all professional and stuff because the hospital's gonna call you back one day blah 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 blah, blah. honey no i'm making youtube videos right now like no so then we start and when we walk in we have to meet whoever's in charge which is the nurse manager so the nurse manager's name was i don't want to say her real name so i'm gonna name her Meredith. Okay, so her name was Meredith. So Meredith was already a bitch from the beginning. So we're like, oh great, like what is she gonna have us do? Like this is gonna be so boring. We're gonna have to be here the whole half of the year for no reason because she is literally gonna ruin it for us. If you've never been to a hospital, well, if you've never been to a hospital, then girl, God bless you, girl, because if you've never been sick, never been to a hospital, I praise you, I praise you, ma'am. Hospital, there's doctors, there's CNAs, there's PCAs, there's nurses, then there's all these different types of people that work in a hospital. And we were the interns, but we worked with the nurses a lot because the nurses would be like, hey, I need you guys to do blank and I need you guys to do blank. So the nurse manager was in charge of the program. So she was in charge of making sure that me and Shayla and our unit had something to do. So Chelsea was in a different unit and so was everybody else. So if you're in a different unit, you have a different nurse manager. Get it? Get it. So our jobs were kind of to like stock the little trays that they have. So like IV fluids and like a bunch of other stuff. I don't even know why I still remember half of the shit. Like, it's crazy. We had to stock stuff. We had to make sure that, like, if there's a patient and he's alone or she's alone, like, talk to them. Because, like, we didn't really want to do oncology. I think Shayla actually did want to do oncology, but I didn't. And I guess everybody got what they wanted besides Pedro. <laughs> F you once again to that teacher. So, like, me and Shayla's job were supposed to be, like, ah, make them happy. And you know that's all I'm about. I'm about making everybody happy. There was actually this one patient, I really forgot her name, and she was so nice, and like, she was there, and I felt so bad for her, but every time we would go, I'd be like, oh my god, I hope blah blah blah's there, and like, I saw her, and then one time I saw her, and she was like, oh, I'm leaving, and she fought her battle with cancer, and won, and I felt so happy, because I was like, oh, that's so good, she was such a nice person. See, we met good people in our internship, but then things got bad. 
So since me and Shayla were always at the hospital during that period, during school time or whatever, we started getting close with the nurses. So nurses would bring like cakes and would bring snacks and would bring whatever and would bring whatever. And that was for the nurses. And then there was other food that was for the patients. So there was this one nurse, her name is Diane. This is her actual name. She literally said, if you guys are thirsty or if you guys want any food or anything like that, help yourself. So me and Shayla go, ding! Of course we're gonna help ourselves because we're kids in high school and we're always hungry because food in high school is literally crap. If you've ever worked at a hospital and really know the hospital, you're going to know that doctors and nurses and CNAs and everybody else, they are not friendly. Not all of them are the bestest friends. I had amazing nurses that we worked with that I really, really loved, but there was also these nurses that would be like, you guys didn't do this and you guys didn't do that. And it's kind of like, I get we were there to do the internship or whatever, but we were doing it on our time. We weren't there all day because we obviously had school still. We would go there for like three periods, I think. I don't remember. And that's it. If we didn't get done by that time, then we didn't get done. Like, it's not our fault. We were kind of like the help. Like, we were just helping them. So her even like bitching at us or yelling at me and Shayla about that is kind of like ridiculous because it's like, honey, we didn't even need to help your ass. Like, we're doing this so we can be interned for the hospital. But like, you and your personal wants F off, like I don't care. And then complaints started to happen and somehow, I think we know who it was, it was this big, fat, huge ass, Ursula ass, looking ass nurse that always had a problem. And every time we passed by, we would kind of like speed by because we didn't want to get bitched at for nothing. And we were kind of like telling the other nurse that worked with us, Diane, would be like, oh my God, like she's so mean, like we didn't do anything. She was like yelling at us and blah, blah, blah. She doesn't want us to fill up her stuff. And we didn't understand why, because like supply room with like the fluids and all the other stuff that the nurses use is in like a different room. So you need to take like a heavy ass cart and then fill it up then fill up their individual room carts so it's like if you want to go and do that do that on your own honey but like don't bitch at us because i don't know why so as i said in the beginning we were always offered offered here do you want this here take some please help yourself offered to eat if we wanted to eat and if you ever went to the hospital especially in the oncology unit like what the hell like you guys expect like this all these meals and shit you know that there isn't no freaking five star meals there it's like crackers or some types of chips or cookies and like little ginger ale things like girl why are you guys doing this to me and I totally forgot to add that in that hospital there was a cafeteria on the first floor and a lot of us would go there before like it was time to get on the bus and we would get food and then get on the bus and go back to school and eat like good food like chicken fingers and french fries and a bunch of good stuff instead of eating that nasty high school stuff. And for somehow, let's go back to the teacher, she was saying, you guys aren't supposed to be getting food, blah 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 blah, this isn't fair to the other students. Well honey bunny honey bunny 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 girl, we are here at this job, I am getting harassed by nurses left and right and you are telling me I can get a box of chicken fingers and french fries? So she was already trying to rain on our parade from the beginning, okay? So back to the story. So somebody told our teacher that we weren't doing what we were supposed to be doing and we were chilling around and eating the patient's food and doing this and doing that. Hun, what? Like I said 10 times, we were offered to eat chips and drink a freaking ginger ale or a juice. We are not stealing anybody's food. Me and Shayla would literally bring food to the patients before we would even think about feeding ourselves. We already know these people are going through a rough time. The, least, the last thing we want to do is steal their ginger ale. So once the teacher told us that complaint, she was like, if you guys don't fix yourselves, then you guys are gonna be fired from the internship. And me and Shayla were kind of like, this is ridiculous. So this is kind of when we started to rebel, which I guess is bad because I guess we did do this. So one day, one nurse came with like this box of stuff and I think it was from like Panera or whatever and there was cakes and custards and pies and all this amazing, gorgeous, um, bomb ass food in that box. So like I said, we had lab coats on and we were just taking the food because like you guys want to say that we're stealing your food? Fine, we're gonna really steal your food. I don't really think that's what was going on in Shayla's head, but it was going on in my head like revenge time, bitch. I just remember this one nurse coming and like we can hear her footsteps coming in and then me and Shayla are like holding these cakes and shit and I'm like, oh my god, like what are we gonna do? So I just went and I picked up the cake and I put it in my pocket with my lab coat and then we had to return the lab coat at the end of the year and when we did, there was like pieces of cake in my lab coat. I know it's so gross, but like I said, F off. So we never actually 
actually took food from the patients. As you can tell, we were taking food from the mean-ass nurses, and I don't regret it at all. You guys are rude, you're gonna lose your cakes, and your custards, and your pads. So there was this one day that I went to the internship, and I was like, whatever, like, this place sucks, like, the teacher's just a bitch, so, like, what is the literal point of even caring? Like, I was at the point that I didn't care. There was so much complaints and so much bullshit with this freaking internship that I was like, I'm wearing whatever I want. And like I said, you could only wear black jeans, khakis, or, like, really dark denim jeans or whatever, but I wore, like, really light, light jeans, and it had, like, one little rip on it, and I was like, whatever, like, you can't even see it because I have a lab coat over it. The lab coat was, like, almost to the floor, so, like, girl. So right when we're about to go on the bus, the teacher looks at me, and she's like, you're not going on the bus, and you're not going at all. And I was like, why? And I knew exactly why, but I wanted to test her ass. She was like, because you have light jeans, and those are the rules, so get upstairs now. And I'm like, all right, keep your tone down, honey. Know your place. I was already at the last straw with that lady, so I was kind of hoping that she would keep going with me so I can really cuss her ass out, because she just hardcore tried to take me and Shayla down. Even Chelsea and all these other people, there was a bunch of other problems going on with Chelsea's internship. Because these people literally were out to get us. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm going in shame. The people at the hospital, Meredith, the nurse, the manager that was actually a bitch to us, literally said, you guys can wear whatever you want because you're going to be moving boxes and stuff, so I don't want you guys to try to wear anything too nice because you're going to get dust all over them. So we were like, whatever, like, we're going to wear it regardless. But... The teacher didn't care because she had her own rules. She did not care about the hospital's rules because they said they did not care. She wanted to make her own rules. That's what happens when you come off the streets and become a teacher. You think you know what you're doing when you don't. So here is where things get fun and things get crazy. Not for me. Oh, for Shayla. Literally, second to last day of the internship. Second to last day. There was all these days that we went, we did all the things they wanted us to do, we got complaints and we fixed our problems and we didn't do this, 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 this. Second to last day, the teacher comes up to me and Shayla and says, you guys aren't going on the internship anymore. And Shayla's like, anymore? What do you mean anymore? There's two more days. What do you mean? And she's like, well, the nurse manager and I spoke and they don't want you at the hospital anymore and you guys got fired from the internship. So truthfully to me, that literally passed right by my head. It did not bother me at all. I did not care. I was like, okay, where can we go now? Like, didn't care. So, as we're sitting in the office, because we had nowhere else to go, because our teacher was at the hospital with all the other students and blah, 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 we had to stay in an office. So, we're, me and Shayla are in the office, whatever, we got fired, two days, makes no sense, right? Expecting that things are going to be okay. So, the vice principal comes, and he walks his little short ass up to us, and he's like, I hope you guys know you guys aren't getting credit. Shayla and I literally became... We went to the internship this whole time, never missed a day. We missed those last two days because we got fired for eating food and doing things we weren't supposed to do. When, mind you, we did absolutely everything these dumbasses wanted us to do. The school's dumbass and the hospital's dumbass. We did everything they wanted us to do and we still got fired and they didn't want to give us credit. And if we didn't get that credit, guess what? We weren't going to graduate high school and we were supposed to stay back. And that stupid ass HSA teacher, Mrs. L, was like, oh yeah, by the way, there's nothing you guys can do because you guys didn't, um, you guys didn't finish your internship so you don't get the credit. And me and Shayla were literally like, you make no sense, you fake ass bitch. Like, we went all these days and you're trying so hard to not get us our credit. And we even tried to even speak to the nurse manager and be like, hey, we need to get that credit. Like, can you please, like, at least pass us? And she didn't even want to talk to us. And this teacher from my high school that I, from day one, was trying to be nice to her and trying to make her seem like she can be a good person did everything in her power, there's dust, did everything in her power to get me and Shayla to fail. She put it inside of his stupid ass vice president's head and his dumb ass did not want to take it either. He was like, no, she's a teacher and she's failing you guys, so that's it. Mind you, two days and you're trying to fail me so I don't graduate? Honey, boo-boo, that's not how it works. So then we went and took it to the most important person that works at our school, which is the principal, the bad bitch, the you know, the big bad wolf, and we said, she is not trying to pass us, and we kind of played like a pity party, and was like, we went all these days, and she is doing everything in her power. We were like, she has our vice principal wrapped around her finger, and like, that's like not okay that we went all these days, missed two days, and you guys are trying to make us stay back in high school. Well, thank the Lord, and that woman came through and literally helped me and Shayla, and we still graduated, and we still got our credit. So for that teacher that really thought that we weren't going to pass, and we were going to stay back. <laughs>
Jokes on you, bitch. So that was the video, guys. As you can tell, my high school is a very, very crazy place. So moral of the story is, if you are a mother and you have kids that are in high school, do whatever you can in your power to back up your children. Because these teachers, I kid you not, are worthless and do whatever they can to argue with kids and cause these kids nothing but problems. So trust your kids, believe in your kids. When I have kids, I know damn well if my kids come home and say this is going on with my teacher and this is going on, I'm gonna walk in there and say who the hell is talking to my son like that? So me and Shayla still got blamed for a bunch of stuff. We still got our credit but it just sucks that like nobody believed us and they didn't care for what we had to say. They only cared about what the teacher had to say and she wasn't even there at all. So, see, that's why you always gotta believe your children, people. Believe your kids, not these dumbass teachers. Thank you. I'm Pedro Lisboa, and you're watching my channel. That was extra. If you guys want to watch any more videos about me telling anything that happened in my life, which a lot has happened, so if you want to see more story times, just let me know. Obviously, I'm a beauty channel, so I'm going to keep obviously posting beauty stuff, but sometimes I like to throw in a story time when I'm not really in the mood to talk about just makeup. But thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this video and you like story time videos, just let me know, and give me a thumbs up, and until I see you guys next time, bye babes. Uh -huh. Oh girl, I hated that teacher. I hated her so much. I still hate you. If you're ever watching this, I hate you. I never gonna like you. If I see you on the streets, I'm gonna cuss your ass out. Bye.